In this video, I'm going to introduce you to HTML forms. HTML forms are used uh, in many applications, web applications, to get information from the user. Google uses it for, as input fields for you to type in your search keywords. Amazon uses so that you can uh, browse their catalog where you can choose different categories and also uh, type some details about those search terms. CNN as well uses it for you to search their website, uh, but a more common use of forms is for you to be able to register or sign up for more services. Here is a, a form that allows you to sign up with uh, CNN and, and establish a relationship with them. You can create forms from scratch or you can also go to uh, this website jotform.com that allows you to create forms for yourself and allow them to embed them in your websites. So let's create a very simple form that allows uh, people, people that visit your websites to rate your website. So let's uh, create a heading. We'll uh, type um, a heading that says uh, feedback, that we're requesting feedback from our visitors. Let's add now a text box where they can type in their email if they want to be contacted um, with, their, with their comments. So let's make this feel optional. We're going to say email. We're going to say that this is optional. They don't have to type in their email here. Let's add a text area now where they can add uh, some comment. They can type any free form comment. Well, let's say we call this uh, your feedback and this text area they were going to be able to type in you know whatever anything that they want to uh, tell us about our website now let's uh, add a, um, a drop down uh, that um, allows them to rate this site from you know from a, uh, a one to five All right, so let's right here uh, please rate this uh, website and here at the uh, drop down list we're gonna add our options we're gonna just say write the numbers one through five um, you know like you know, like stars you know one two three four or five stars there we go let's say okay to save that and let's scroll down and see if this works if you click on it you see that the uh, options are there now uh, now let's uh, add a uh, checkbox here that um, we're gonna ask them if they would like to receive some feedback from us right so let's say that uh, they want to maybe um, uh, register for a newsletter and the we're, we're just going to give them a one option that uh, says yes you know if, if, if they click on this they check this we know that yes they want to hear back from us if they don't check on it then then no they're not going to register our, for our newsletter I'm right, going to save that um, it might ask you to register with the with the chat form service uh, type in your email uh, save it and basically what what it is is that uh, once people submit to your form um, uh, JotForm will email the results to you. Uh, let's go to, we click on share forms and it gives you a piece of code that you can copy and paste into your web page. So let's copy it. Let's say uh, close. So now that we have the form all saved, we can um, create a web page of our own that embeds this form and we can post it online so that people can start um, you know, rating our website. So let's see, we're doing all our work in our directory called Internet. Uh, let's go to Internet and let's create a directory specific for this. We'll call it Forms. Let's see, let's see, uh, Forms, here we go. So let's go back, let's go in here and let's create a web page in here and we'll call it uh, forms.html. Let's see, uh, forms.html. All right, so let's say yes, that we do want to change our, our extension to HTML. Uh, let's open it now with our text editor. It could be Notepad or WordPad. I like to use SciT uh, that allows me to make the font really big so that you can follow along and see what I'm typing. Uh, so in this web page, first, let's create a uh, heading of type 1. So it's going to be big uh, at the top. So H1, there it is. We're putting the tags around our text. Then we're going to create a smaller heading of H2. Uh, we're going to say that uh, this, we're gonna, this is where we're going to put our, our form. And so in this heading, let's call it the feedback from JotForm. There we go. Now we can paste the code that we copied from JotForm. There it is. Uh, now, basically, here it is. Here's the whole code that we, we've, we've created. 
basically what we've done is we, we've embedded that form that we created in jot form into our web page so let's save that uh, let's uh, now go back to the directory where we created let's double click it there it is there we go you see we have the h1 the h2 and here's the form that we had created in jot form there it is see there are the email the optional the feedback it looks exactly the same as the form we created in our in that uh, jot form website we can uh, type type in it uh, in the input field. We can type in our email. We can type in our uh, feedback. We can select the, uh, uh, the 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 drop down to rate the website. We can check check the uh, checkbox saying yes. We want to listen to this. Uh, uh, we can submit it. It says uh, it says thank you. So now uh, the the form was submitted to JotForm and 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 JotForm has sent us an email. Let's go let's go read our email. See if JotForm sent us an email. Um, there it is. That's the email from JotForm. If I click on it, it says that uh, the, they submitted uh, from, the, uh, from these questions. These are the answers uh, from the email, the optional. They, got, they, they submitted this, this email, uh, the feedback, saying that it's great. this site is great. They rated it to five. And yes, they would like to receive our newsletter. Cool. So now we're ready to uh, put this um, web, site, uh, web page up on online. Uh, so let's start up our FTP client. Let's uh, go into our our uh, directory online and uh, let's create that that the same directory that we have locally here. We called forms. We're going to create it also remotely. And let's uh, let's go in there and um, uh, we're going to upload into this directory the forms that HTML we just created. If we remember where we put it, it was on the C drive under the Internet directory, under the forms directory. There it is. So let's select forms. It uploads it. Boom, the website is online. So uh, one more thing that we need to do is uh, to make, to you know, we have to tie this new web page to the rest of the website. Uh, we should go back and update our index page so that it can link to the forms, this new, this, this new web page. So let's, let's edit our local copy of the index page. Let's open it up with a text editor and let's add an additional section here that uh, allows it to navigate to our new uh, forms page. So let's uh, create a uh, here a, a sentence that says to check out our forms, and uh, create a link to the forms. You know, using the this this word as the clickable text. And if they click on this text, they're going to go into the forms directory, and under there, they're going to find the forms.html web page we just created. All right. So let's uh, let's save the index page. Uh, let's see, let's close that for now. Let's uh, go to our FTP client. Let's uh, say we want to uh, upload it to the top level of our, of our uh, site. Um, that's the old index page. Let's uh, click on the folder and say upload. Let's uh, go, to, here's the internet directory. Here's the, uh, our local internet directory with our local index page. We say open, it says, are you sure you wanna override the one that's already there? It says yes. It overrides it. We know what we're doing. Let's uh, let's reload. Let's let's go and, and navigate to our website. It's uh, CE Web under my directory, Janunzi. Uh, where is it, Janunzi? There we go. Uh, index page asks us to log in. Says okay. Ah, there it is. Our sentence. Ah, oh, we forgot to put our heading. We forgot to put our heading for this new sentence. So let's go back and, and add that. Let's. Uh, Open that index page. We closed it. We should have left it open. So let's let's open that again for editing with our trusty text editor. Here it is. Uh, here's the sentence. Let's add a the section, the heading two section. Let's make it a little big so you can see what I'm doing. So it says in H2. It says uh, my forms and um, heading two. Let's save that and we can re-upload. Uh, to our remote index page. Let's go to our clients. Let's say we're going to re-upload again the index page. This is upload. Select the index page. It's going to say, are you sure again? Oh, well, no, it, it, it selected it. It, it. it let us upload it. Okay, let's reload this. Uh, you can press F5 to reload or click this button here. There it is. Here, there's, here's my uh, my forms uh, heading. Let's click on forms. There it is. This is the forms that is now online and working. Again, if you People come to your website and fill this in. Forms will email the results. 